Hello there. Um, my name is Ray Black. I'm the uh, CTO of Ensemble Systems, uh, a longtime Adobe partner. Um, this session is about how to create components in the uh, ADEPS Web Experience Management Solution, formerly known as CQ. Um, we have, uh, I have a, uh, an example component that Adobe had asked us to make that will serve to just demonstrate all the development points that you have to consider when you're making an application in, in CQ. Um, this, this project was um, uh, fairly s small, well contained, and it's just about the presentation of a table of Adobe products that uh, users can then use to uh, request serial numbers and then to actually invoke the downloads of the product installers. And uh, these these uh, products would in fact be downloaded from the Amazon cloud. So and that was that's kind of nice um, uh, example of some robustness about uh, where the downloads can come from. But um, so the, the the component itself would be available at uh, web design time to whoever's making a sort of a product specific website, and it's available as a component that can be dragged and dropped onto the web pages being made. So. Um, um, I will be presenting sort of the interesting design points of this uh, this component, uh, and it touches you know, all the way from the server right to the client side. So how to persist sort of the definition of our product data, uh, where that goes in the repository, how to organize things, how to organize the sets of serial numbers, um, how to then make that data, the product data, available as product related services, then that can be consumed by the client JSPs in this case and then um, how to define things so that these, these, these JSP components, that, which is essentially an HTML table, would be available at web design time to be dragged and dropped. Um, uh, so it's, it's a nice example, little, little uh, project, because it's um, very well con constrained in, in terms of scope. So it's easy to understand, but at the same time it covers uh, a lot of issues, uh, the, the basic sets of issues that you need to understand when you're making a CQ application. Um, uh, and then that includes uh, some project management issues, um, how even simple things, how do you set your class path and things like Maven really helps with that. How do you manage your source code? Uh, do you keep it in the CQ repository? Perhaps like us, we need it externally in an SVN repository. How do you then manage it and how do you do deployment? Um, and the packaging and things like that. So th these are all uh, interesting issues and we can talk about some gotchas that we encountered along the way. Uh, and one, one final uh, aspect of, of this project that was interesting is that um, the users that we wish to make use of this product table would be the everyday users, the people who have valid Adobe IDs. So they, they wouldn't be necessarily in the CQ user repository, but they still need to make use of the website. And this means we need a custom login module that can then intercept login requests and then validate users using their Adobe ID against the Adobe ID name servers, which then, once validated, implicitly creates sort of uh, cached versions of the user information in the CQ user repository. And that way, they're, they're, they are then valid users uh, valid CQ users for this website sort of from that point on, right, until perhaps some sort of time up. Um, so we have the basic end-to-end -end of server um, kind of um, side development, uh, an example JSP component, and then an example of a custom login module. And then it just, uh, this session is going to just present, present it and then discuss the interesting points along the way. So it lets people understand what's involved and lets sort of um, the, the, it's a nice platform from which questions and further, you know, discussions can be made. Um, that's it. Hope to see you at Max. See ya.